The war in Ukraine forced millions of people to flee their homes. Neighboring Poland has borne the brunt of the exodus, and CNA's Jeremy Ho met some of the people who've had their lives turned upside down. 34-year-old Valentina Richakova had fled Kyiv on 25th February last year, one day after Russia invaded Ukraine along with her seven-year-old son, sisters and mother. But her husband had to remain in Kyiv as most Ukrainian men aged between 18 and 60 have been barred from leaving the country. It was a very hard decision because we think it's it's not real and it is stopped one, two days. It was a very hard decision for me because it's not like by car, it's not, it is, was like life or not your life. And for me it was, it was very stressful. From Kyiv, Valentina and her family headed to safer regions in the west of Ukraine before finally ending up in Poland weeks later. In June, about three months after they arrived in Krakow, Valentina and her sister decided to rent this small workshop so they can run a textile business. While it helps to pay the bills, it's a far cry from the textile production firm they operated for years in Kyiv. We decided we need uh, something to do because um, our mind uh, all time thinking about warm. Uh, we don't have any normal sleeping, uh, eating. Valentina has returned to Kyiv a few times to visit her husband. She says the war has to end first before she'll consider moving back for good. It's estimated that more than 9 million Ukrainians entered Poland in the first three months of the war. Some have returned home, others have moved on to other countries, but many have also remained here in Poland. According to estimates from the Polish border guard, around 1.5 million Ukrainians are still here. And dozens of NGOs in Poland are now helping Ukrainians to prevent the refugee crisis from becoming a humanitarian disaster. Agata Plechak volunteers with the Polish foundation Wono Nam, which provides Ukrainians with a roof over their heads, food and other essential items. And it runs a hostel which houses about 200 Ukrainian refugees, mostly women and children, at any one time. There were so many. There were like hundreds, hundreds, because at the beginning um, this building was, uh, we focused more, more on, um, it was like the trans, uh, transfer place, so they stay for two, three nights and they were on the way somewhere to the west, basically, and uh, now um, most of our inhabitants are here for um, months. But the massive influx of Ukrainians into Poland has not gone down well with everyone. Last November, during Poland's national holiday, nationalists carried banners and shouted anti-Ukrainian slogans. But for now, there's still only a vocal minority. And a recent poll by the Polish Pollster Research Institute indicates that more than two-thirds of Poles think the Polish government is doing a good job in helping Ukraine in its war with Russia. Wiadomo, że każdy w takiej sytuacji chce mieć dla swoich dzieci i dla siebie bezpieczne miejsce, w którym może mieszkać. No, oni chcieliby również na pewno pracować, chcieliby się usamodzielniać. Dzieci powinny chodzić do szkoły, nie powinna wojna oddziaływać na, na nich w ten sposób, żeby nie mogły mieć bezpiecznego miejsca dla siebie. Still, most Ukrainian refugees are finding themselves stuck in limbo as the war grinds on. And 33-year-old Niel Nikal is one of them. While she dreams of returning to a country almost every day, she simply can't take the risk. Her four-year-old daughter Yeva suffers from cerebral palsy and epilepsy. We have a lot of bad situations where um, the mothers with children stay at home and they now dead. Because um, the children, uh, the child wasn't uh, mobility, mobile, and uh, when uh, bomb attacks, uh, when were the bomb attacks, they can't uh, leave their uh, houses, and they, they stay inside and they dead. So uh, here you should um, 
should understand uh, do you want that your child stay alive or not so i want last year poland has spent about 2.76 billion us dollars on support for refugees from ukraine but the country's deputy interior minister recently said that part of this money has returned to the state budget in the form of taxes as ukrainians settle down find jobs and rebuild their lives in poland jeremy cole cna krakow